motion related color alarm. So guys, let's start making this. So guys, these are the materials required for making the project. First, I'm taking a 9 volt battery, a LED, a buzzer, and this is the buzzer, this is the LED, and then the Arduino Uno, and the breadboard, then some male to female crack for uh, jumper wires. I took three of those male to female. This is male, and this part is female. So I took three of those like this, and then we need male to male, two male to male. This is also male to male. So I took two of those male to male and female to female, three. And also we need a PIR sensor in the main part of this whole project. This is for uh, uh, detecting the motion. This is a sensor which detects the motion. So let's get started. Let's make the connections first. Okay guys, so let's get started. So first take your PIR sensor and take the uh, female male to female jumper wires which I told you. So connect all those three. I'm connecting the red color wire into the VCC. The VCC and out labels will be given on the PAR sensor. It would be written there on above the pins. Here, I, I know that you can't see it. The video quality is very blur. Yeah, I think you can see it a bit now. So this is the VCC, the right one. The left one is the ground. The middle one is the out pin. You can see it on your PIR sensor. So now I'm taking my red color uh, wire. I'm taking a red color female to male wire. And take this and connect it to the VCC. So where is the VCC? It's here. This is the VCC. So this is the VCC. I'm connecting it to the VCC. And then I am taking another female wire. This is in blue color. I will connect this blue color wire into the ground. No, not the ground, the out pin, the middle pin. Like, wait a second. I connect it to the out pin of this, which is this. So now as you can see I have connected the red wire and the blue wire. The red one is connected to the VCC, the blue one is connected to the out. Now I am taking on other uh, male to female. I will take the female part of it. I will connect it like this to the ground one. I connected it to the ground and so now I have connected all those three the red one VCC the middle one is the out which is connected to the blue wire this is the blue wire and the last one is the ground ground is connected with the black wire so now you have these three wires connected to the PA pin. so now what we are going to do with this is we are now we are going to take the Arduino and you might think the Arduino is very big but I too thought the same but after buying it, it was looking so small, it was just like this, this much, it's very small but when you keep it like this, it looks so big, okay anyways, that's not the point, so now what we are going to do is we are going to connect the Arduino with the PIR sensor. Okay, it looks a bit blur, I know. And I hope it's a bit clear now. Okay, anyways, now this is my PIR sensor. The red one VCC, the blue one out, the black one is ground. So first, what we are going to do is I will connect this 
red color wire which is the VCC it's written on that I'll connect this on uh, the 5 volts pin like this so now as you can see it is connected to the 5 volts then I will take the black color wire which is the ground this black color wire is ground so I'll just connect easily connect it to the ground like this yeah I hope it's clear now it's not blur and the blue one which is the out I'll connect it to any random pin from 0 to 7 but for this video I'll connect it like to the pin 3 so now now we have connected the PIR to the Arduino so next what we are going to do is we are going to add this buzzer this buzzer and the LED to our um, Arduino whenever it detects it is going to um, yeah. so first what I'm going to do is take one of the male to male wire so I am taking this one male wire and if you don't have these wires you can use normal wires instead of jumper wires the male to male and male to female so this one end I am connecting it to oh wait let me remove this buzzer from here yeah I will connect one of this one of the end to any random pin uh, let me color connect it to the pin number 5 so now I have connected it to the pin number 5 as you can see it it's connected to the pin number 5 so the connections are the PAR sensor is connected to pin 3 and the LED and the buzzer pin is connected to the pin number 5 so next what we are going to do is we will connect this other end of that to a random hole in the breadboard breadboard so now take the bread move this Arduino back wait now what we need is just this LED the buzzer and the breadboard and of course the battery battery will keep it in the last it's not that important so now I'm taking this other part of the LED pin and other end and I'll keep it into this hole as you can see next I take the buzzer and I just keep it and yeah make sure of the polarity connect the positive so the yellow one is going to give you the positive charge so connect the positive thing anode to that uh, yellow color thing and then I'm going to take the last male jumper wire this, this is the last wire and connect it to the negative of the buzzer negative charge of the buzzer wait we forgot one more thing we forgot to keep the LED just connect it in the same way this is the positive this is the negative like this and you might add a resistor for it yeah so now I am taking this wire and I will connect it on this the negative one and then I will connect this black color wire which is the negative one I will connect it to the ground of the Arduino so this is our Arduino and the one of the ground is already occupied so I will use the other ground there are actually two grounds on my Arduino so this is Arduino Uno yeah yeah so now I have oh wait that did not get recorded okay but anyways I connected it to the ground and then what we are going to do is connect the battery to this so but before connecting it we have to program it right so let's I have uploaded I have kept the code in the description you can copy it and paste it in your Arduino IDE and click on the upload button click on the verify button first then click on the upload button and then yeah it will be completed so let's 
check it out let's try running it okay so guys i have uploaded the code which is given in the description it's the same code take this connect it into this thing and while coding it and while sending uploading it to the Arduino you have to connect through this you have to use a USB cable yeah and I'm connecting it to this right a second let's keep this um, wait a second my other hand is busy so I'll just pause it I'll keep it and I'll play it so guys I have connected it successfully wait it's already working okay now this is the uh, project kind of thing so let's check it i'm going to keep my hand here hello wait ah! okay the led is lighting on and the buzzer is making the sound so i hope it worked for you too and See how it makes a sound. You can keep it somewhere like near the door because the thieves enter from the door. Let me show it to you. So, guys, I have kept it in my home and this is the door. So, when the thieves try to come in, so assume that I'm the thief. So, I just break their door lock somehow. I don't know how, but yeah. I open the door, I go in, and that thing buzzes and the LED lights on like that 